Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up BT Fon networks on the Wi Fi kit version 1. Please make sure your kit is all set up. If it's not, you can watch our setup video back on our FNQ page. First, we're going to connect to the 11N 3G router AP signal on your device. It can sometimes take a couple of minutes to connect to the device. Once connected, your device should tell you you have no internet and it's open. Next, open a web browser. I'm gonna use Google Chrome. Next, we are gonna log on to the router's setup page. Open a new tab and type 192.168.2.1 in the address bar and then hit enter or go. You will then be prompted to sign in with the username or password. My web browser has also put these settings in. For the username, as you can see it's admin and the password is also admin. Once you put that in, hit enter or click on sign in. You will now be brought to the router's main status page. If a box comes up saying save password, you can click save. Next, we're going to change the IP address of the router. To do this, click on advanced, scroll down to where it says LAN. In the LAN settings, you will see the IP address box currently has 192.168.2.1 in it. We are going to change the dot one to dot 50. So you should have 192.168.2.50 in the IP address box. Once you do, you can click the apply button. The kit will now do a rebooting phase. Please wait till it gets to 100%. Once your kit has reached 100%, you may be brought to a no internet page like I have here. All we need to do is simply reconnect to the 11N 3G router AP Wi-Fi signal. Once we are connected, you can click off of this screen and refresh the 192.168 2.50 login page now. When you do, you will be brought to the username and password box. Again, this is admin and admin. And click sign in or click enter. You can also click the save button again to save the password to your web browser if you wish to. Next, we are going to connect the kit to the BT Fon Wi Fi signal. So go to Easy Setup. Next, click on USB Wireless Adapter and click the blue Site Survey button. And as you can see, it will bring up the connections to connect to. In the list, scroll down until you find a BT with FON connection. Click the circle next to it and click the blue select button. The BT Wi-Fi with FON connections have no passwords on them. So you can hit the blue next button. Here you can set a password on the router if you wish to or you might already have these options filled in. I'm going to quickly input my options. I'm going to put Kuma and Kuma and click the blue done button. The kit will now do a two minute reboot. Once it's finished, I'll be back with you. Once the two minutes are up, 
please now check on the front of your router that you have a USB light on. This means that you are now connected to the BT phone connection. Next, we are gonna reconnect to the router. Once connected, the status page will do a refresh and you now should have a blue connected and the connected status with a BT font in the network name. All that's left to do now is to log in to the BT website. So for example, put in BT font, you will be prompted to connect to a Wi-Fi click on connect. If you are using a phone or a tablet, you can gain access to the login page exactly the same way. So connect to your 11N 3G router AP signal. Come out. Next, open your web browser. And as you can see, the phone wants me to visit a login page to log in. So just hit connect. It can sometimes take a minute to load up the login page on certain devices. And as you can see, the phone is now on the BT login page. And from here, you just log in with your details. We hope this video helped you. If you'd like to check out our other troubleshooting videos, you can visit our FNQ page by going to our website, going to support, and going to FNQ.